An Overland Park mom is on a new mission after losing her son in an officer involved shooting. As 41 Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson explains, she's working to make a change in how these shootings are handled and her efforts could have an impact across the state. In 2018, the state of Kansas had seven officer involved shootings that resulted in a death and one of them, Sheila Albers, lost her 17 year old son. Now she's fighting for more transparency. On January 20th, 2018, John Albers was shot and killed by Overland Park Police. I bolted out of the car and I attempted to get down my street to get to the house and an officer stopped me and I, I said, is my is my son OK? And the officer said, he, he's passed. Police were doing a welfare check after John's friends worried he would harm himself. His friends did the right thing and they called 911. Before officers identified themselves, John backed the family's car out of the garage. Officers fired 13 shots, six of them striking John. Two months later, Sheila filed a lawsuit after she says many of her questions went unanswered. Transparency is so important. Sheila has been working closely with Kansas State Representative David Benson on a bill designed to help families in the future. What could we do legally to uh, assure that families who experience police shootings uh, have closure, that they understand every element of what happened to their loved one. The measure has three separate components. Key elements of the bill are a policy, an investigation by an outside agency, and in the case of non-prosecutorial uh, decision, uh, a release of the record didacted to protect uh, individuals uh, that are necessary. In 2014, a similar bill passed in Wisconsin. Sheila hopes Kansas will follow. In Wisconsin, when they passed this legislation, and it was supported by law enforcement, they saw it as a way to build public trust. They saw it as ways to um, maintain credibility in their community. Next for the bill is getting a hearing, which Representative Benson is hopeful will happen sometime this year. Reporting in Overland Park, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News.